Hey, pleasant good evening, everybody. This is going to be my next video for the always next year chasing the pennant podcast YouTube channel as we are getting into the Phillies and Spencer Howard or elite pitching prospect making his debut. One of the best pitching prospects in all of baseball. So we saw a great six innings pitch locating his sinker on the outside corner, looking fantastic, being able to bring it back into righties, sometimes also forcing it inside to righties, but locating it out of the strike zone, bringing it back in. He also took advantage of getting some calls. That's the smarts of a veteran pitcher and what Jake Arrieta did tonight. So to follow up that fantastic performance we got from Arietta, we have our top pitching prospect in Spencer Howard debuting tomorrow. Now, we don't know what game he's in yet. It seems like game two, so hopefully Vinny Velo can give us a half-solid game so we can have two pretty solid games, a great one from Arietta and a solid game from Vinny before we have Spencer Howard. But Girardi also said it is going to depend on what they do tomorrow for what we do. So right now he thinks it would be Velasquez for game one where if they adjust or if they do something I guess he's not foreseeing and is the best way to say it, then we might adjust and throw Spencer Howard in game one. I personally would love that, to have him follow this great performance by Jake Arrieta compared to having Vince Velasquez, who seems like he's not really a starter, follow this great performance from Jake Arrieta, but we'll see what happens. I mean, you got a kid that has a fantastic, massive fastball. Brian Price said of Spencer Howard, he has a big fastball, a really good slider, change-up combination, emerging curveball. And he said that on Saturday in a 15-minute Zoom call. And he throws strikes. He competes well. He controls the running games. He's a very polished young guy with a big arm. So you find guys with velocity and all that velo a lot of the times that Howard has, along with the movement that Howard has. The difference is you don't normally find people that have that velo and movement on his breaking pitches combined with that great great deception he has in his stuff, but just good off-speed pitch combination with his fastball at this young of an age at only 24, having that location with that speed. Normally when guys that have that speed and stuff come up, they're going to walk some games four to six people, where Howard's a guy that you really shouldn't have to worry about that too much. He's a guy that has a lot of location. He's a guy that has absolutely nasty stuff. He has an absolutely great developing changeup, a great slider, and a curveball that's probably going to be disgusting if he continues to emerge and develop it, and I don't see why he won't. So this has just been a quick look ahead to Spencer Howard tomorrow. We're not sure exactly what game he's going to go in yet. It seems like game two, but again, Girardi said he would adjust depending on what they do, but either way, we have our stud, our young stud elite pitcher, a mute debuting tomorrow and he's going to hopefully entertain us for years to come I believe he will he's going to be a guy that is going to be very fun to watch and a guy that we hope with Aaron Nola and Zach Wheeler become a three-headed monster for years to come in this city so have a great and pleasant night everybody it was a great night for Phillies baseball hopefully we have two great games tomorrow for Phillies baseball and we continue this good streak of having solid starting pitching. Now we just need the bullpen to be consistent, but the starting pitching has looked good recently. So let's continue that tomorrow. I have no concerns about Spencer Howard whatsoever. We just need Vinny Velo, if he goes in game one, to look sharp. So then we turn it over to Spencer Howard for game two, and he has a very, very good game I'm going to say they might limit him, so he'll go four or five innings, but I think he'll throw 60 to 65 pitches and only give up one run at most. And I think he, that's because he's that good, and if he gives up two runs, okay, fine. He still pitched great, but I think he's that good to only give up one run at most in his first start. So have a great, pleasant, safe night, everybody. Stay safe out there. Enjoy all the baseball. Peace out.